Really sick of messing with the air conditioner on this Lincoln Town car. But that's what we're doing today on this episode of Hoob's Garage. What's up, YouTube? It's Hoob here with Hoob's Garage. And I was still uh, trying to track down the uh, air conditioner problem on this Lincoln Town car, but I have had it to another shop. <clears throat> and they tell me that it's just low on Freon and I need a pressure switch, even though the first garage said that it was completely full. So we're still playing that by ear. But in the meantime, I'd already ordered one of these uh, air change temperature sensors. And it was only like 20 bucks. Because I thought that might be the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to swap it out. Looks like it's a real easy job. Sensor just plugs into the side of the evaporator housing right there. It's real easy to get to. It's not like the newer Lincolns. What is it? The Zephyrs and the MKZs. I guess you got to rip the whole dash out to get to those things. And it's like a thousand dollar job or something like that. So That's what we're going to be doing on this episode of Hoob's Garage. Let's do it. So I'm going to show you how to pop this thing out of the housing. Then I'm going to have to put the camera up on the tripod. But it's really easy to get to. I just take a pair of pliers right here. And I think I'm just going to turn it. it kind of pops in like a light bulb does. Just turn it down. If you don't have fat fingers like I do, I really don't even think you'd need tools for this job. So once you get that loose, just pull it out right here. There's your sensor. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the stand, or put the camera on the stand and get this thing swapped over and we'll see what happens. I'm sure there's probably like a little clip or something. Yeah, we got a little clip here. Okay. Popped out pretty easy. There's the old one. I mean, it looks okay, but that doesn't mean anything, I guess. There's our new one. Everything's looking good there. Okay, I heard it click. Let's pop it back into place here. Okay, got it in there, so now I'm going to tighten it up with these pliers. Well, as far as easy, that was an extremely easy job. I have absolutely no faith that that's going to fix the problem. Starting to run out of options here, so... But we'll get in there and fire it up and see what happens. See if maybe the air conditioner does come on. So let's try that now. Okay, just like I thought. That made absolutely no difference. But... I hear that is a pretty big common problem on these cars, so it made for a cool video if any of y'all, anybody is having that problem. Now you see where it's at, how to put it in. And I got an extra sensor now. Maybe. I mean, it still could be bad. I'll put that on the workbench in case we ever need it at another date. 
But thanks for tuning in to this episode of Hoob's Garage. Sorry these videos are all chopped up. I film with a phone, <clears throat> so I only have a limited amount of space. I would have liked to have had one long video about the air conditioner. But that's the way it is. We just have to try separate things and make a video about it until I get some fancy recording equipment. But, uh, you know, it works out pretty good. You know, maybe you just need to fix one thing on your car. So instead of having to watch one long video, you can just watch separate ones. <clears throat> but thanks for tuning in to this episode of Hoops Garage. If you found it helpful, and if you want to like and subscribe, that's cool. And uh, we'll definitely catch you in the next one. This is Hoob with Hoops Garage.